All right, let's check it out. Don't do these three things until you're rich. Number one, you should not be buying new cars. These new cars are not significantly better than the ones built three to five years ago. So pay half the price for a used one. Second thing, don't buy all the designer stuff. You don't need the Louis bags like my wife. Third thing is the shoes. How often are you buying the new release stuff? Think about how many shoes you got in your closet that you don't wear. Now look, I'm not saying never buy all this stuff. Just make your money first and then enjoy the stuff second. Awesome. Hey, I think that's really good advice. So first off, if you start making a lot of money, the worst thing that you can do is start spending it on things that are not going to appreciate in value. And I know people talk about designer handbags hold their value and blah, blah, blah. So personally, one of the things that I'm guilty of, I ended up getting a Range Rover when money was going really well. And I ended up buying a Tesla right around the same time. And what happened was my Range Rover was just sitting there, costing me like two grand a month in my driveway. And by the time I got rid of it, it was already like depreciated by $19,000. So big L on that one. I wasn't really a big fan of it. I'm happy to not have it anymore. The designer handbags, I did buy Ashley a bag for, I don't know if it was her birthday or it was Christmas or something like that, but ever since she got it, she would um, tell me, she's like, okay, when am I gonna get my next one? So guys, fellas, don't open that can of worms if you're going down that route um, because it's just gonna be an endless pit of thousands of dollars going into a bag. I've only gotten her two at this point, so I'm trying to stave off. Maybe once a year, it might be a nice splurge. And then the third part, shoes. Luckily for me, man, I don't dress up very nice. I, I don't, I never wanted to spend a lot of money on uh, clothes and Jordans and, you know, Gucci belts and all this other stuff. So I'm pretty safe there. As a matter of fact, my one splurge that I do, I mean, uh, make fun of me if you want to, but I'm a big Croc fan. I mean, they're super comfortable, super cheap. I wear them everywhere I go. I have different ones for outside, going out, everything like that. So let me know which one of these splurges do you guys mess up on. Let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you later. Peace.